Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. Sorry for the lack of posts over the last uh, little bit. It's been a busy personal time and work-wise, uh, it's been busy. Uh, but at least we're back out and the weather is beautiful. Today, we're at Robin Hood's Bay. Uh, we're gonna walk from uh, the north side of Robin Hood's Bay on the rocky foreshore around towards Horsker. And that'll take us through some lower and middle layers material, some places that are a bit older than we're used to fossil hunting on the channel. It was a chance to find some of these rarer ammonites and then into the bay at uh, Fargetic, which should give us uh, the normal sort of material that we'd expect to find and bring us back into the Dax and Hildes and things like that. Uh, so that's the plan. Uh, I'll be back with you when we've got some goodies. Uh, just sat waiting for the tide to go out a tiny bit further. So I found a little tiny nodule that had an edge showing. It is an ammonite. Not a well-preserved ammonite, but I actually, this is going to be my problem for today. Anything that I find, I'm unlikely to know exactly what it is. Uh, this would be my guess is something like a pleuro, a pleuroceros, but that would be a guess. It is not well preserved anyway, so I'm not sure I would know any better, even if it was. Whilst we've been waiting for that tide to keep receding out, uh, here's a nice little block I picked up. So we look for these shelly blocks, uh, and occasionally you'll see ammonites sticking out of them. So I tapped it a few times, it's another little one came off of this side here and there's a bigger keel just here sticking out so that one might go underneath and I turned it around and there's another part of a keel there uh, sat underneath what looks like a little oyster shell so a bit of prep to remove this one probably this because it's untidy uh, try and keep this one I think and see what we can do with this so there might be a few in there uh, what I think are all pleuroceros type ammonites again but uh, yeah, my IDs are going to be pretty poor on a lot of this lower lias stuff, so I do apologize in advance. Um, and then one more thing that I picked up as well, a super, super scrappy deck, uh, this here. Uh, that will have come quite a long way from the upper lias stuff to get down here into the lower lias stuff, which is why it looks a bit rubbish. Robinson's Bay does produce some incredible shell blocks like this one here. Uh, unfortunately, far too big and far too fragile to try and excavate all of this. And so we'll just leave it here for others to admire, uh, as are the many other blocks much the same. And in the bedrock, we have these gorgeous layers as well. So piles of bellonites, like this, large chunk of wood right here. All of uh, this area, all of the bedrock in Robin Hood's Bay is protected, it's a triple SI. So no hammering into it to get anything out, please. Yeah, just grab this block, you can just see the edge of this keel sticking out here. So I gave it a little tap uh, and yeah, it's a bit worn, uh, but it looks like most of it will be in the middle here. Let's see if I can break down this block and not explode the ammonite. Unfortunately, I don't think I had my sound on, but that last big pleuro uh, yeah, it split when I tried to split the block and uh, it wasn't salvageable. Uh, to give you guys a landmark, that headland that you see in the distance over whoop, there, that's Raven's Car. And uh, Raven's Car is the upper lias. Uh, we are in the middle and lower. Uh, and the reason for that is there is a big fault that happens pretty much right on the headland. Uh, and it brings up all of the upper lias and has protected it over there, which is also why you get the Grimoceros layers that pop out there and nowhere else on the Yorkshire coast. So that looks like it could be a nice pleuro, though the bit up here I'm not convinced is complete. Uh, I've just tapped it and managed to break the edge off, trying to see if I could make it a bit more exposed in the middle, but uh, glue it all back together, give it a prep. Fingers crossed. Uh, this is the little shipwreck that's here uh, on the way around. Uh, it is a good landmark that if you see this shipwreck, uh, you are now about to enter a couple of really nasty cutoffs. So uh, please be aware as you walk around that headland in the distance there. Uh, you are now entering a couple of dangerous areas. Please be very aware of your tides. Uh, we've already walked past a few cutoffs, but those 
uh, you can get wet feet and do the next ones, you do run the very real risk of being in a dangerous situation. So please keep an eye on your tides. Uh, once you clear through those little cutoffs, you end up around in the material that starts having more upper layers. Uh, so this here is one of those golden cannonball nodules I've tapped open. There's a couple of bits of elegantisserus on each side, one bit there, a bit there. Uh, and you might see it's kind of a yellowy, greeny color with a, an oily sheen. And that's because uh, a lot of these jet rock nodules and the ammonites actually do have and collect oil, whether this is due to the body parts themselves of the ammonites rotting away, or just the rocks being very oil filled, and it just happens to collect in and around the ammonites, I don't know. Um, but that's what that is. Uh, and it's a sign that we're getting close to uh, phargetics where the upper layer starts to crop out. You can see just how wet it's been with the amount of water coming off the cliff still. An enormous amount of water still pouring off. and. At the bottom, a nice big green pile of extra slippery gear that we have to just try and traverse. And this bay here that we're just coming into, this is Phargetics. And there's another little bay just around the next headland as well that we might try and hunt. Uh, but the reason I wear my hard hat is because of this bay. So if I show you back, there is a shelf that's about halfway up the cliff that you can probably all see as a sort of an orangey line. And that line there is a shelf where rocks coming from higher up hit it and come out a long way. And so whilst you think you might be safe where you would normally be safe under a cliff, the rocks here come out a long way. So it's just worth being super careful. Just another little one sticking out of this tiny nodule. Let's see if I can just chisel that out. So I managed to get it out of its block. So that's just a big loose block down there. Don't worry, I'm not hammering in the bedrock. Uh, but this here has that really interesting keel. I don't know if you can see that clearly. Um, but that there means it's not a Pleuroceros, that will make it an Amalthius uh, species. And I've only got one parcel, uh, so if that's complete, that will be a new one for the collection. Uh, and quite a nice little one, I think. Just saw this sort of nasty gnarled edge and recognized it as a little bit of bone, so I tapped it just to see what it was. Uh, and yeah, as expected, it's a little piece of uh, fish bone. Uh, not worth keeping, nothing exciting or uh, noticeable in it, so we'll put it back down. Spot the fossil, or at least the, uh, the negative of a beautiful fossil. Someone got a stunner out of that. Just coming up to the end of the bay and making some big decisions about whether I want to have just a cheeky poke over the top of this and into the next bay, uh, where you occasionally get some nice grey shale and um, dactyloceros ammonites, or whether to start wandering back and uh, got about an hour before low tide so we're pretty much on that point that if I'm going to go around I gotta go quick and I might just do that. Uh, the main area where I tend to find a lot of my uh, decks and paranostrises and hildes, uh, this section here, uh, the, at least through summer, uh, it's all been heavily washed uh, by the storms across winter and there isn't much of a beach left here, uh, presumably all out at sea somewhere. Uh, or washed around into the other bays, but didn't didn't see very many of them, so hey-ho. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go check the next bay, I think, very quickly. Just a couple of bits and pieces of dax, but nothing special. Uh, been a bit sparse in this section, but that's also because I don't have a lot of time, so I am rapidly scouting over everything. Uh, quickly have one my last search over all of this, uh, and then I'm gonna head back, and then start the long walk back and see if we can find any more uh, Older things. Not had many good decks today, but that looks to be a decent one. So we'll put that straight in the bag. I thought that might be a decent deck. Looked all right. Middle may or may not be there. Turned it sideways and look at how wonky that's preserved. It's obviously crushed and you can see on this side that middle will be gone. Uh, it's a shame. It would have been quite a good size one. A nice little oval nodule. And it's got a little lobster or at least a little claw just here and uh, more bits just up behind it and so those two bits will go back together and I need to find someone who can prep these uh, because the only ones I've seen done well I believe are done by someone called Hannah I might be wrong with that but I think it's Hannah and she lives stateside so unfortunately I don't know anyone who preps the crustaceans uh, regularly down in Yorkshire. Good game of spot the fossil amongst all the modern living animals. Right there. That looks to be an absolute peach of a deck. 
Beautiful. You do get some massive shells. So there's my hammer to give you a comparison in size. Yeah. That one's not a great example, so it'll stay there. Yeah, just back through the nasty cutoffs uh, into the bay with the shipwreck. Uh, just making the most of the fact that the tide is still fully out to scamper back. We don't have to clamber over quite so many rocks or get soggy, soggy er feet uh, on the way back. Uh, it was a bit, bit of a rush at places, but that's kind of how it goes. Trying to get to some of these very remote beaches. Still a lovely day, though. I don't know who saw it, but someone got a screamer of an ammonite out of this block. Hopefully that was complete. <laughs> so you probably tell we're quite a long way back into Robinets Bay, uh, Boggle Hole just down there on the right. And I found a deck, which is definitely not from this area. It's washed a long way around, either from behind from where we've just come or from over there over Raven's Carway. Or someone's dropped it out of the bag, maybe. Uh, just coming up off the beach here at Robinets Bay, uh, halfway up the, the hill, uh, and taking a nice appreciated break. It's been a lot of walking today. Uh, we've had some good finds. Uh, the uh, Amalthius is probably the find of the day, but we got some nice Pleuroceruses, some things that we don't normally pick up along the rest of the Yorkshire coast. Uh, so we're quite good for that. Uh, Horsker, Phargetics, uh, was a little unproductive for the, the usual sort of thing, so only got a couple of dax, but some nice looking lobster claws, so hopefully they'll come out uh, when we get them prepped up down the line. Uh, if anyone knows anyone who preps them, please do give us a shout because I'd love to get some of my crustacean bits prepared uh, from Yorkshire. Uh, otherwise, thanks a lot for watching everyone. Make sure you like and subscribe. Much appreciated and catch you soon.